Hi friends, happy day 13 of the vlog. Holy buckets, we're almost halfway there. But today, we're gonna do a really fun video. We are going to spice up our altars. So I'm gonna show you how to create an altar at home where you could do your meditations at, you can do if you have to do tapping, you can just sit in front of it and visualize, you can sit there and journal, you can do whatever you want in front of your altar, but it's gonna be your fun little spiritual space to get into the vibe of whatever you wanna curate for your altar. So let's do it. So this is my altar before we do all of the things. I had it as like a very earthy altar. I have a lot of earth elements, seashells, an animal card, um, even like a forest candle, just a bunch of stuff like that. And this is um, an earth goddess spray. It was like an earth vibe, okay? And I had all of these crystals that looked super earthy, lots of oranges and stuff. I know the lighting's really bad, um, but I've been moving around crystals because as you guys know, I have this little altar on my desk and I always change up these crystals every single week. So my altar tends to get a little messed up. So we're going to redo her today. So first of all, this, what my altar is on, is actually a bath tray that my mom bought me, but it doesn't fit with the bathtub in my apartment. So I just use it as my little altar. As you can see, I just cleared it all out, except for our bundle of crystals over here, because this is where I keep all of my crystals until I interchange them. So everything's just on the floor in front of me. And I'm thinking we're going to do like a money altar this time. We did really earthy and I'm feeling... We're feeling the money vibes. I'm about to move into a big house. Let's get in the money vibes. So what I'm going to do is make the main spread of this like a money theme. And we're going to get money crystals. We're going to get some dollar bills. We even have all of these, which this is a check from American Airlines that I got when they kept me stranded in Hawaii once. My graphic designer made me my own $100 bills. I have fake checks written to myself. I have first class boarding passes, more checks written to myself, um, more checks from American Airlines, and a money um, note to myself where I took back my power around money. So we have a lot of like these things too, which I like to add to the altar. So I'll show you guys what I do. We are the universe. We are the universe. is put my gold $100 bill on the very back because I like whatever is on the back to be like my central theme. I actually got this in my local crystal store and it's just a fake $100 bill to signify abundance and abundance creation. So we're going to do that. We're going to put our little money jar which has American money in it, has Bali money, it has euros, it has lots of different currencies. We're just going to put that in the cup holder there. I always keep my Palo Santo right here. It's just the perfect little nook for that. And we're going to put all of our earthy elements over here on the side tray since we're not using the earth element for the main part of this. Now this one, which I had on the main part last time, where is the thing? It's actually an abundance essential oil mix and you put it in your water to create abundance vibes. So we are going to keep that one. It's going to go in the corner there. We're going to take our earth elements, our seashells, and just arrange them in here. I'm going to put our feather in here. And I kind of just arrange things like nice and pretty because this is literally your spiritual space that you are creating right now. So what I wanted to say about this is this is literally your spiritual space that you're creating for you. This is where you can do meditations, you can do tapping videos, you can just spend time at the altar. What I personally do is every single day I use sage or palo santo, whatever I'm using that day, and I specifically make sure I go and palo santo or sage my altar. Because the thing is that when, let's get comfy. When you make your altar, there's going to be a theme. You can make a love altar. You can make an earth one if you want to be grounded. The last one was very earthy because I was really feeling I needed grounding. Um, you can make a money altar. You can make a career altar. You can make it for anything you want. The thing is, while you're doing that, you're setting the intention for said thing. So even just looking at it a couple times a day, glancing at it, putting your energy towards it, acknowledging your altar, cleansing it. You don't even have to spend a ton of time there, 
but any energy you move towards the altar you're moving towards that intention that's the whole point it's like when i had my grounding one i didn't do any meditations at it i didn't really sit by it i would just look at it every single day i would feel grounded when i looked at it i would cleanse it every day know that was bringing grounding to me and that does the trick it gets to be as simple as that but the most important part is just having that space where you can put that energy it gives you a great visual for the things that you're calling into your life so for me, I'm focusing on leveling up my life, going to the next level, calling in extra money for my house and furniture and all of that fun stuff. And so, I wanted to do a money altar. So anytime I just look at it, cleanse it, whatever, it's bringing that intention closer to me. So what I've done is kind of rearrange my papers in a way that resonates with me. And at the very top, I actually have a fake check written to myself from a long time ago that I just have on top because it just reminds me of like writing checks to myself. So what I'm gonna kind of do is just spread these out over the middle of my altar. I kind of want to see a couple of them. I want to be able to see some of my boarding passes. These aren't spreading out very well. <laughs> I want to see some of my boarding passes. I want to see my little power note. And I just have like a nice little spread here. Because what I like to do is on top of that, I like to move my crystals. So this guy is a citrine, which is my favorite crystal. It's like a, oop, <laughs> a golden orange color. I know the lighting's hard to tell, but these are great for manifesting abundance. So we're going to pop that guy on top. What else do we have here that is shouting out abundance to me? I like a lot of um, the clear ones when it comes to abundance because clear quartz and different lighter crystals remind you of transparency and it's like the more transparent you are around your money the easier it is to call in so we have another little transparent one we're going to put over here basically i just like to coat my altar in the crystal so i have a little citrine guy just like a little baby one i put that there and i'm going to arrange all these and i'll show you after got my phone my phone uh flashlight so we could really see the altar and i wanted you guys to see these gold citrine crystals so pretty so this is the finished look this is where i keep all my crystals we have our money bin we have all the notes i showed you guys in the crystals we have our gold 100 dollars bill we also have a sitting little kuan yin we have an elephant we have our abundance drops Palo Santo, this little alien guy, because I was an alien in my past life, so he gets to sit on my altar. This is all the earth stuff that we have retired. And then back there, I just have a white candle. So this is it. So that's about it. It's pretty easy. Just some things that to note is when you're making your altar, it doesn't need to be anything specific. There's something you absolutely need to have only things that you're kind of vibing with. You could keep your oracle cards over there. You could keep, I don't know, a present from somebody you love. It just needs to be something meaningful to you. For me, I love things written down. So those are like my fake checks or a letter I write to myself or for a money one specifically, maybe a letter I wrote to money. I like to have my crystals. That really gets me in the vibes. I have lots of little figurines of like Kuan Yin, Ganesh, elephants, things that resonate with me. And that's all you need. What resonates with you for your magic is always going to be good enough and then remember it's just the intention that you set so don't overthink it have fun let me know in the question or in the comment section if you guys have any questions about what to put on your altar if not i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and i will see you tomorrow